play right away. Oh, oh he went in for the side kick. I faded back, hit with a back leg roundhouse as he was coming down. Oh, oh, if that would have connected. If that would have connected. What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? A quick thank you to this video's sponsor, DraftKings, but more on that later. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, a few weeks ago, I had posted up a video of my, supposed to be my first pro kickboxing fight, but it really wasn't. So you guys wanted to see my first pro kickboxing fight, so I'm giving it to you today. We're going to be watching it together. I'm going to be breaking some stuff down for you guys. It's going to be fun. So uh, without further ado, let's get after this bad boy. This video is sponsored by DraftKings. DraftKings, the official gaming partner of the UFC, is putting you in the center of the action with a shot at millions of dollars in total prizes. This weekend is going to be amazing. UFC 262's main event has the lightweight title on the line. The main card is stacked with amazing fights that are sure to be exciting. Why not make this night even more exciting with a little skin in the game with DraftKings? If you don't know how to play fantasy MMA with DraftKings, it's super easy. Just draft six fighters from Saturday's fight. Each fighter listed has an assigned salary and a valid lineup must not exceed the salary cap of $50,000. Rack up fantasy points for advances, takedowns, knockdowns, and more. Full rules and scoring can be found at DraftKings.com MMA. So download the DraftKings app now. New users use promo code WONDERBOY during sign up and get a shot at millions of dollars in total prizes. There are millions of dollars in total prizes up for grabs all week long. And again, new users use promo code WONDERBOY during sign up and get a shot at millions of dollars in total prizes. Let's get back to the video. All right, so this is like 2003, 2004. And it's funny because I just recently saw Ray Longo and he had mentioned this guy and was talking about how he was, you know, beating everybody up in New York. And Ray Longo was like, you beat this guy, right? I was like, yeah, I beat him. I fought him twice and I beat him. He was my first pro, uh, first pro kickboxing fight. He was like, just at all that I beat this guy. Kadri Kadir is this guy's name. Oh my goodness, here we go. Making his way to the blue corner. <laughs> at 192 I'm kinda nervous, pounds. dude. A professional record of 13 and five. 13 and five, the dang. Kick world champion. So he current he was USKBA he had a ton of pro fights before. Champion. This is my first pro fight. Current USKBA US Man, champion. I didn't realize this guy had 13 pro fights Self already. Defense Center, West Babylon, New York. You know it's quality when you can see the guy West actually Babylon, holding the curtain closed this in the back. Is Kadir. <laughs> oh, comes out backwards. It looks like the kid from Star Wars, actually. Oh, spin, jump, spin, back kick. You know what I'm saying? I had to show everybody what's up with a jump, spin, hook kick. To be intimidating. Look at that face, dude. Just trying to pump himself up. It's funny how opponents do that. You know what I mean? They have their different ways to try and pump themselves up in the back to get ready. You, I hear guys screaming in the back. Um, I see guys crying in the back. I see guys sleeping in the back. He loves that spin back kick. So here we go. This dude's got 13 kickboxing fights, 13 pro kickboxing fights. Oh, got a bow to the corners. Bow to your sensei. I never did that. Never, I never did that. I don't know why I didn't. There's a in the All right, here we go. At 189 pounds. Uh, 189 pounds. No losses. <laughs> the IKF Amateur World Title Champion from 2003. Here we go. Making his debut as a professional kickboxer. <laughs> Upstate karate. Upstate karate, let's go. Crowd going crazy. From Simpsonville, South Carolina, this is Steven Wonderboy. All right, okay, let me tell you the actual story of why they call me the Wonderboy. For those of you that do not know, my very first fight, and my dad threw me to the dogs in my, my very first pro fight too, but my very first kickboxing fight ever, I was 15 years old. You're supposed to be 16. We lied about my age. But, but this is my very first kickboxing fight. I was 15. I looked like I was 12. And my dad puts me up against a guy who was like 26 years old. He was 20 and 0. He just 
threw me to the dogs on that one, but I beat the brakes off the guy. After the fight, the announcer asked my opponent what he thought about me. And he said, I wondered why he even stepped out in the ring with his boy. And the, and the announcer called me Wonder Boy. Not Wonder Man. Wonder Man is just weird to say. He called me Wonder Boy because I look like a kid. And it just stuck with me ever since. Everybody's been asking me, you know, when are we going to change you to Wonder Man? But you know what? Wonder Man just don't sound right. Wonder Boy is it. Okay? As long as I'm walking out to Tenacious, Tenacious D, Wonder Boy, I'm going to be Wonder Boy. And here we go. Oh, shred it, man. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God, I look so young, man. I have a baby face. I just left that girl hanging. I feel bad. Look, I just walked right by her. I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to, uh, I'm not even going to rewind it. I'll probably mess it up. Check out the old stars and stripe karate you know, pants. He's coming to the ring undefeated. You don't Never see those too often lost. anymore, Six huh? Foot tall, 21 years old. This kid has got Going over the rules, baby. Future, Dad looking him. young too. Ray Thompson is corner man. Kadir has come all this way to, kiss him to show people that uh, the pro level is a little, make out little bit different. Corner, you know what I'm and we're about to see here, here if go. there is a difference right he's now. He's smiling. He thinks he's going to be easy. Oh, I hated those double mouth pieces. Oh, does that, my dad got a mustache? He's got the old creeper stash going, Pops? Yes, he does. Look at the stash on Pops. <laughs> Wonder Boy's giving up an inch or two here. Round one. Here we go. Let's go. Always bumping gloves, dude. Oh, guy came out. Came out. Ready to go. Right off the bat with a Woo. great... Back leg round kick to the coming in hard. Those two are definitely not going to hold anything back. They're ready, they're ready to play right away. Oh, oh he fall. went in for the side kick. I faded back, hit with a back leg roundhouse as he was coming down. Oh, oh, if that right would have connected. Thompson, if kick that would have connected. Head, shakes him a little. I'm surprised Thompson didn't close oh, on him. Oh, my goodness. Didn't phase him. Dude, I was ruthless back then, man. Still. I wish I was that shredded still. Right away, this thing has started Loose off strong. Back kick. Okay. Steve Wonderboy keeps his hands down. A lot of people, you know, criticize I still him. keep my He's hands down. He's so fast. He can do whatever he wants with his hands, you man. You know, it's, it's kind of all part of the way he draws his opponent in. I agree. I agree, too. Yeah, I agree guys. with you. He can pull it off. Good for him. Well, he even would have spent back kick, too. Who knows, though? Maybe in the pro level, it may may make a difference, though. We're going to find out. because You can right see. You game. can still see some of the, like, the... Mistakes I made. I mean, I, at least I'm mixing it up a little bit. Before, before then, I threw a lot of roundhouse kicks, or round kicks. I very rarely threw spin kicks. Ooh, I, I, I felt like his body was fairly weak in this fight, and I'm pretty sure it pays off. Man, Thompson is just throwing some heat. Wow. I didn't move as much then. I'm just kind of standing there, you know. That's a tough way to start. There, okay, good. Now I'll see if that changes Kadir's game plan. Roundhouse. Another roundhouse. You gotta Here's count how many roundhouse kicks. I'm just walking them down. Thompson very calm. Just looking to pick and, and shoot. So, okay, see how shiny I am right now? See, in kickboxing, the they ropes. would lather you up in Vaseline. Not just not just your eyebrows or your or your cheekbones. But they would put Vaseline, oh, my dad would put Vaseline on my shoulders. Wow. He'd put Vaseline Thank all over awesome. my body, like my, my body. So they would Vaseline you up. But, so uh, this guy in the background, so we got, who is that? That is my dad. I don't know who the guy is on the right. But the guy in the red was my buddy Cash Money. He fought kickboxing as well. Um, still, still comes in and spars every day. The guy's like 50-something years old, still comes to the gym, still spars. Love that guy. Cash Money, you the man. No knockdown. This is a slip. Oh. If I would have connected, that would be over. It would be it would have been over. I think you saw it coming. I, I, I wound up pretty, pretty deep on that. I telegraphed that tremendously. Oh pops, man. Been in my corner since day one. I hated those double mouthpieces. Hated those double mouthpieces. I was always pushing him out. I remember 
right away again. These guys are not going to hold anything back. Kadir, Kadir Ooh, a little blitz, a little blitz. Wow, Thompson has got a fury in his face that I've I? never seen in any of his do I look, fights. Do I look like, I'm, like I'm furious? And I don't I'm not think sure so. If I haven't no seen punch in the back of the head. All this time or because he's on a whole different level right now. Well, Stephen Thompson's a model. See, this is this was the this was the the hard thing too. If you notice, anytime we clinched up, the ref would would say break and we'd break apart, right? So that was huge for me to get used to, especially when I made that transition transition from kickboxing to mixed martial arts. Like there was no breaking. There was no breaking. You were getting punched or knee, elbow, taken down, something. So I had to get used to used to that, you know. Uh, I remember you know, training for MMA fights and still in sparring, I would clinch up with the guy and I would break as if the ref would say break, right? I would get punched or taken down. So that's one thing I had to get used to is there was no break. There was no breaking in MMA. During the day, I think so. Uh, he's probably glad to peel it off. <laughs> yeah. A black belt runs this runs a lot of the classes at Upstate Karate. With still do. And his father. It's hard to have a father <laughs> team, and very few that we know on the circuit are able to do it. But these two pull it off like they're like there's just no problems at all. Let's go, baby! Oh, sidekick. Thompson's reach, and I wouldn't, ex I wasn't gonna expect that. Oh, wow. oh man, the blitz! Chasing Thompson I must have pissed him off or something because he was coming at me. Oh, I see the sweeps, the sweeps just to, to so I can angle out. I used to do those all the time. Those little front leg this is sweeps. What kickboxing is all about. Bringing it here to South Carolina. Ooh, I try to come over top with his jab. I do that a lot better now, too, I believe. I think I would kick myself's butt. I was getting ready to wind up the spin. Here I go. Here comes the spin. I agree. Oh, I was going to. Man, I telegraphed a lot more back then. Oh, he kicked me in the head. I just grinned at him. Oh, oh. What a shot. Oh, my goodness. I would, I would love to fight myself. Would love to fight myself in. I'll tell you what, there should be more people watching this one. Steve, I don't know how they Bump. fit this thing. He's got standing room only. This place is packed. We need a bigger house. Ray Thompson's going to have to learn that after this show. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. All right. I forgot. I, just, I think that was round two. Yeah, it was round two. Wow. Two minutes or three minutes? I don't remember. I think it's two-minute rounds. But I'm already looking. Look, I remember looking across the cage and seeing Kadir already looking tired. So I remember one of these fights, on one of these fights, my dad had my mouthpiece and accidentally dropped it in the spit bucket. And I was the last fight. So it was, oh, it was disgusting. So my dad dropped my mouthpiece in the spit bucket and he had to quickly rinse it off. But I remember when he put that, I didn't know, I didn't, he didn't tell me until after the fight. But when he put it back in, I was wondering why my mouthpiece was so salty. <laughs> Disgusting. Beep, beep. Sweep, right there. There's the sweep. Oh, he noticed. I used to always come over top back then. I'd come over top of everybody's punches. And I was definitely a little more aggressive when I was a kid. Younger, anyway. I wouldn't say kid. I guess you could say I was a kid. Oh, he punched me there, too. Holy cow. I don't remember any of these fights, man. I literally I haven't seen this fight in years. Years. Round three. And wow. Ooh. Well, you could throw your kicks as hard as you want to then because you wore shin pads and boots, right? So you weren't afraid of breaking your foot. Well, I bolted out of there quick. You didn't have to worry about breaking a foot or a shin because you had shin pads and boots. So you could throw your kicks as hard as you could. Yeah, the vinyl mats are a little slick, especially when they get wet. Yep. You know, clearly. Third round, y'all. But I can tell you, Kadir's he's tough, man. He's got a fighter's heart. He is tough. Kadir's doing a lot of thinking out there. One day, his boy. Experience is going to pay off in these later rounds. See, I had a feeling his body was. Ooh, oh, that was weird. Oh, he good combinations. Thompson just I feel like I feel like I'm watching somebody else fight right now. <laughs> nice right hand. 
I'm just winding up on things. You can't, you can't do that with guys now, man. Not in the UFC. The guys will see that coming. Definitely a different level of, of competition. The guys now. Man, I'm just telegraphing everything. The kicks. Pushing my mouthpiece back in. I hated those double mouthpieces. He misses his kicks, it's an automatic point deduction. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay, so in kickboxing, you had to have so many kicks in each round. And if you missed uh, those, those was it eight or 12 kicks, they would take points off of that round for you. So you had to get kicks in. Because what you would do is you would have guys that were boxers coming over to kickboxing and not even kickbox. They would just box, right? So it was kickboxing, so they had kick counters. So you had to throw legit kicks in and get a certain amount in every round. Um, and if you didn't get those kicks in, points off, point deduction. I think he's just gonna go with the so that's what he's talking about. With. That's one way to get him in, Steve. Thompson just counters off his rear leg too easily. And Hands down, the still moving. Style of Thompson amazes every conditioned fighter when they sit there and see him with his hands down look at me coming over top oh got him in the cage got him in the cage i was i was down and determined to hit to knock this dude out with a spin hook kick can't do that when he's my age oh i can't people think that a large karate fighter is not a kickbox but thompson has proven everyone wrong again great hands great feet well conditioned man what more do you want still doing it still doing it to round four what a fight. I think Kadir's... Oh, man. Kadir's winding down. Look at him. He's frustrated now. I don't even look tired, man. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Oh, man. I feel like there should be somebody doing sound effects. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Every time that you throw a kick, there's somebody there doing like uh, sound effects. You know what I mean? Wah! I don't think I was 190. I weighed in with stuff in my pockets. I wasn't even 190, bucko. I was like 180. I just weighed with cell phones in my pocket, keys in my pockets. I used to do that all the time. Steve, I want to see a fight, man. I want to see Kadir get after it right here. Kadir coming down from New York. Coming down from New York. Walking the walk. Ooh, Rick fake Thompson. the round nice kick. kick. Nice kick by Kadir. Ooh, side back. kick. Ooh, good timing. Water getting to him on the ring again. Coming over top. Seems to just go over the top of Kadir's punch. You know, and. and Moving side to side, baby, side to side. Something open for an uppercut at all when or when he comes over the top of Kadir's hands like that. Side kick. See, let me see my mouthpiece. I hated that mouth. Blitz. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, oh! I just pooped myself just watching that. Definitely took him down. Oh, look at him. He's in some pain. Pro career is going to happen in round number four. Right to the solar. Kadir's got to be frustrated thinking, how is that? Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Somebody watching this fight. Ooh. Oh, there is a lead game. hand. Lead a hand hook. That's got a, a liver shot. A cracked rib because that was a great body shot again, but that was definitely. You see my coaches in the corner, like, my buddy no, Brendan, cash out. money. He's like, well, go back see. to the body. His rib is hurting him. Oh, he's tying. He spit his mouthpiece out. Kadir is in pain. See, uh, goes back. Shot. He's just trying to that's get not his. A solar flex mark. That's it's not the rib, dude. It's the liver, he's man. He's he's. From point A to point B across the uh, ring. Body see shot how they? Man. He's giving himself a chance to breathe and get some coaching from his corner, man. That's, Steve, that's messed up. Does he continue? This is, should his corner throw in the towel here? He's gonna. Th I don't think he's gonna go. He's done. No, maybe so. Well, he didn't need that from his trainer. His trainer like, was like, hit him in the stomach and said, "Go do it again." Technical difficulties. I don't know if I, I don't know if I think that's the right call. All right, here we go. Here we go. Watch the body. Yep. Hook. Going to the hook to the body, I'll bet. Thompson's going to go right there again. Oh, Got to keep nice him thinking kick. high because he knows. Going to the body over and over again. Here it comes. I feel it. I just, I just feel it. I appreciate on TV how fast Steven Thompson is. Ten seconds left in the round. Oh. 
I did that same thing to Till. He's going to make it through the round. There you go. I pretty much let him off that round, I think. I don't know why. I let him off. I don't know what it is, but I just want to punch myself in the face. I just look like a goob. You know what I mean? I look like a little goober. I just want to punch myself in the face. Oh, I wound up on that body shot. I wound up. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. And pop up a pie, pie down low. Whoosh. He's hurt in the Here ring. we go. I'm thinking he is. I'm thinking he's going to stand back, but oh, no. he goes right in there for it. So maybe, maybe his ribs not as hurt uh. as I thought it was. It's a long way to come. Here it comes. No, nope. it is. He wants to make sure he does his best. Tell you the difference on their face. I stick him. Like here he is. Here it is. Boom. Oh. oh. There it is again. This is going to be over. This is over. It's That's a body a, oh, shot. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. And we have oh, back flip. I've been doing back flips after a, a KO or TKO body shot, body shot. since wow. Jump Street. Shot, I still try and do that after and a KO that all they, all in MMA. I do something. Corkscrew, back flip, something crazy. At 21 seconds of the fifth round. Referee Dan Stell stops the bout. Your winner by TKO in the red corner, Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Man, there you have it, guys. First pro kickboxing fight ever. So that was it. Them body shots suck. Definitely could have beat my, I could beat myself up. I think if I fought myself then, I think I would kill him. Well, guys, hope you like the content. If you do like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to see me rematch this guy, yes, there is a rematch, and I believe it goes all five rounds. If you want to see that, throw the comments down below. Hit, give me a thumbs up, and we'll get you at that rematch, guys. Appreciate you, and catch you on the flip side. Peace.